A matchup of old Pinwack rivals as the Central Washington University Wildcats up on Burning Mountain to take on the Simon Fraser clan in Great Northwest Athletic Conference action. And first half, Bryson Kelly scampers in from one yard out to put Central Washington on the board in the second quarter, 7-0. But SFU answers on the draw play. Gabe Eppart, 64 yards later, he's in for the score. Eppart had an outstanding day for SFU. More on that to follow. It was back and forth all day for the running games from both teams here. Bryson Kelly from 22 yards out, his second of four touchdowns on the day. The clan, though, answer as on the draw play again. Eppard, this time 70 yards later, he's off the pay dirt. Eppard finished with over 200 yards rushing on the afternoon. But Kelly again punching it in, this time from four yards out, he finished the day again with four touchdowns and over 200 yards rushing, but the clan with some trickery as Tori Corrado, a former high school quarterback, the freshman receiver, finds another freshman, Ben Allen, and the speedster from Winnipeg, Manitoba is in for the touchdown, a 60-yard strike, but it proves to be too little too late as Ishmael Stinson from 10 yards out, scampers in for the score. He finished with 158 yards rushing. SFU adds a late touchdown as Ryan Shorts, the quarterback from North Vancouver, rolls out to his left and finds his favorite target. Mathis Bomback, the German, in the back of the end zone, gets a foot in. SFU, though, falls 44-30 to the number 22-ranked Central Washington Wildcats. There's definitely a lot to be proud of. Physically, we were able to play with them. We were well-conditioned. We made some big plays against a very good team. They're ranked very high, and the fact that we were able to play with them is, is very encouraging. We just played in the second half like we should have came out, firing, playing uh, central football. We just started off slow, you know, we need, to just, we need to play the first half like we played the second, and we'll be good to go. I mean, obviously there's a lot of positives, like I said before. They're a national ranked team, you know, and uh, we, we hung with them. We, I think we won the first half for sure and stuff. We just came out slow in the third. And that really killed us. But I mean, obviously, there's some positives. Our play calling is getting better. We're capitalizing on some plays. I think you saw something from everyone at almost every position do some things. We're getting better every week, and we probably had our best week of practice. We came ready and stuff. So that's the positive for sure.